Generally, using a cash machine is a very safe thing to do, but they can be the target of criminal gangs, so people need to know what they can do to protect themselves from being a victim of crime at an ATM. So one of the ways that the criminal gangs operate is to use a device like this. This is a skimming device which will capture the card details from the magnetic stripe on the back of your bank card. So it's fitted into the slot and as you can see it looks exactly like your average card throat so you're never going to spot it. So that's why it's so important to make sure that you protect your pin properly when you're using a cash machine. So one of the other things that criminal gangs will do is to fit a device just like this to the card throat. And as you can see, it just looks like a normal part of an ATM. So the criminal will glue this into place um, and that's all you'll see, what looks like a normal ATM. So you put your card in, you enter the pin, uh, you enter the amount of money you want and then your card should be returned to you. But this device prevents it being returned to you. So you walk away because you haven't got your card or your money, the machine's gone out of service. The criminal will then prise this device back out again and there's a little hook on the end which pulls your card back out of the machine. So the criminal now has your card. So if your card's trapped by one of these devices, there's one thing you really need to remember and that is to call your bank immediately while you're still at the machine, not when you get home. So you must have your card issuer's 24-hour number stored in your mobile phone so you can ring them immediately. So both with skimming and card trapping, there's one other thing that the criminal gang needs and that is your PIN and they get this, not necessarily by standing behind you and looking over your shoulder, but they do do that occasionally, but probably more commonly, they'll fit a camera somewhere around the ATM, looking straight onto the pin pad in order to get your pin. So the cameras could be anywhere. They could be around the cash dispenser, they could be up in the corners, depending on the shape and the model of the machine. They could even be in one of the side panels, very low down. But in this particular case, we've fitted this metal bar here, which makes it look like it's part of the machine, but in fact, it's not part of the machine at all. We've put a camera inside it from behind it, and under there is a small pinhole, which looks straight down onto the pin pad. So the camera lens is looking through the pinhole onto the pin pad. So if I put in a pin, you can see how it appears on the TV screen up there. Our camera's transmitting, but of course the criminal's camera is recording, recording your every movement of the pin pad. So how do you adequately cover your pin? Well, I always use my wallet. I'm getting it out anyway to get my cards out, so your wallet or your purse is a perfect thing to use. Get it out, put it across the pin pad, keep it fairly low. You can still see the, the numbers underneath the, the wallet, and that's a really good and adequate way to prevent cameras fitted around the ATM from capturing your pin details.